May is National Speech and Hearing Awareness Month in Canada, and although one in, our, in four Canadians report having some hearing loss, few are aware of the impact everyday household noises can have on their hearing and how to protect it. So listen up, because we have audiologist Beverly Wolf here, and thank you, Beverly, for coming. My pleasure. Who knew? Who knew simple appliances? Uh, like, I always think about music and you know, basically, really, music and count concerts and things like that, but not household appliances. Exactly. There's many things in everybody's day-to-day -day life that they're not aware of that's damaging their ears. Okay. And one of the problems with household appliances is they're getting to a level where it could be damaging in hearing. So 85 decibels is our number where we have to be careful to have nothing above 85. Okay. 85 is the level in industry where they start doing hearing conservation programs and protecting the employees. Okay. But in our day-to-day -day lives, there's no legislation to protect our ears. Okay. So if it's above 85, it can damage your hearing. But even if it's close, you might be turning other things up louder just to cover it up. You'll put your earphones on and play music while you're vacuuming, or your kids will be turning up the TV to cover up the vacuum. Sure. So you want everything below, things like carburetors and mix masters, all sorts of things add together and make the level so loud. So there's a company, Rowenta, that's yeah. just releasing a product in North America, and it has a decibel level of only 65, which is quite a bit below what's now, reasonable. Now, are they doing products, all kinds of products? Well, they have, these floor care products are okay. the, there's quiet line. Okay. That, um, but they yeah. do have other products available. But this is, okay. they've come into the market with a product four times quieter than the regular vacuums the regular. that are out And there. we're going to look at this vacuum in a minute because this vacuum is actually on exactly. while we're speaking. Exactly. And I really don't think that anyone can hear it. Um, because uh, this is very unusual for me because we were laughing and, uh, and I had said to you before that for me, if it's not really loud, there's no suction. Exactly. So they've come up this far. So we're going to have a look at this vacuum and prove that it does have suction mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's very quiet. Yeah. Here's the thing I, I don't know people know how to do is that you're saying 85 decibels. How do I know? There's a few ways of knowing. One, the simplest one is if you're about a meter away from someone talking in a regular voice and you can hear them comfortably, it's below 85. That's the easiest. Okay. Another way, you can get apps on either an iPhone or a smartphone where it actually measures the decibel level. It's an easy, no charge download. And you just turn on and you measure. So that's good in areas that you're sure. worried about sure. testing that. Yeah. Now, have we seen a dramatic increase in hearing loss? Yes. Oh, no. Especially, there's a, in the industrialized society, people love gadgets, people, and especially with the personal listening devices. It's what we used to think of as aging ears is really just a lifetime of leisure noise exposure subways and bars and stadiums so there's a few different areas we have to be careful of okay the first one is areas where we can't control like the subway a bar a stadium and if the level is above 85 if you can't carry on a conversation or you measure it above you should be protecting your ears just like the sun block that the last guest yeah. was talking about yeah. We treat our skin, we, we protect it, and it's a cumulative effect of the sun. Same with your ears. The more times you're exposed to noise, the more likely later on in your life you're going to suffer hearing loss. So, so should, brought, we be, should we, sorry, should, should we be like using things to protect our yes, ears all the time? That. Only if it's above this level. If, okay. it's, if it's above a level that you can't carry on a conversation or you right. measure above 85, you should be protecting your ears. You're doing damage otherwise, okay. and it's cumulative, and you can't get it back. And okay. it won't show up to later in life, so it's... It's right. difficult, but I brought one. Okay. So we have, there's things that you can buy over the counter, yeah. or you can have custom made. I don't know if it's possible to, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. good. So I'll put my, just the one in the one side. Okay, so it's no, comfortable. is this something that you've had made specific exactly. to your this ear? Exactly, this is a custom make, made okay. ear protection. Yeah. So it's very comfortable. Just I think pull your hair because they I can think see not that. Too visible. And that's fitting right into your ear. Exactly. Does that not bother you? Not at all, no. because it's, it fits exactly the shape of my ear. Okay. A mold was made of my ear, so yeah. it's, it's much more comfortable than those yellow squeezy ones that right. you put in. And you can hear, if you have both of those in, you can hear me perfectly fine. I can hear you, but at a, a lower volume. Okay. But if you're in a noisy place, because you're, you're just talking in a regular voice. Right, so now. you don't need them. Right. right okay. If there was background noise enough that I couldn't hear you like this even without plugs, you'd be talking louder. Yeah. So if I had the plugs in, it's okay. I can still catch what you're saying. I wear them to concerts, and I have no problem hearing the concert, but when I come out, I'll take the plugs out. I have no ringing, no buzzing, no fullness, and people that I'm with who haven't worn them have that sensation. Oh, yeah. They've got the burn on their skin yeah. or the damage yeah. to their ear. 
that makes a huge difference. So just bring them with you. Well, maybe exactly. bring them with you all the time. Exactly. Have them made. Yep. And, I and, keep them in and, my purse. And, and you keep them in your purse, yep. right? Just in case. Because as you say, if we're out and about, it could be transit, it could be the subway, right. like exactly. any of those things. Exactly. So you just pop them in and you're good to go. Exactly. Okay, we're going to come back. More great stuff. And I'm, I'm going to vacuum. It's the first. <laughs> Stay with us, Beverly. We'll be back with more great info. Now hear this, turn the volume down. We are back with Beverly Wolf, audiologist and expert in helping us hold on to our hearing. And Beverly, you are, whereabouts is your practice? Where can we? The Toronto Hearing Services. Yeah. We okay. have a location in the West End in Toronto, Markham mm -hmm. and North York. Okay, so great to know because uh, a lot of people. Need custom ear plug. <laughs> and is that where we can get those? Yes. Get yeah. them custom made. Those, yeah. Okay, are they expensive? Uh, there's different levels. There's ones that are fantastic for a sound that musicians wear and they go up as okay. far as about two hundred dollars a pair these are closer to about a hundred okay so it's would they be I've had mine for ten years oh those, really yeah, last forever. Yeah. well I guess our ears don't really grow not like so nothing much. really changes not in there so right yeah. are they any good for um, kids in swimming yes no, we do a separate really? set that that is made specifically they'll float on water and they protect ears and water. That's fantastic. Yeah. So much better than the thing. Oh, yeah. Much better. Okay. So, really so let's talk a little bit what are the signs of hearing loss? The signs of hearing loss are asking people for repetition, turning the volume up on your television, mm -hmm. blaming others, saying you're mumbling I, and you're catching parts of words so you confuse what people are saying. Okay. Uh, and another sign that you're doing damage to your ears is ringing in the ears. If you start at your ears, Tinnitus. exactly, yeah. your ears start to ring. That's a sign that you're doing damage. Okay. So. Not. And now, how often should we be going and having a hearing test? Everybody should at least have a baseline. They should. And one of the problems is a lot of the physicians don't send their patients for baseline hearing tests unless the patient complains of a problem. But it, and the patients will come to me and they'll say well, um, I, is my hearing getting worse? And I said, well, we have nothing to judge against because oh, yeah. we have no baseline. Sure. And then based on that, if, there starts, if it shows there's starting to be damage, we'll recommend every year. If it doesn't, maybe every two years. Okay, so that's okay. So tell us a little bit about the products. We're really interested because this vacuum, everyone's okay. fascinated to find out, if you know, can actually first work. if it works, yes, exactly. right? Because we can't hear it. Right. So, and what other products can we get that are similar to this? So um, that's, you have to be a savvy consumer and ask about the noise rating. A lot of people will go and buy a piece of a, an appliance and ask about the energy efficiency, mm -hmm. but they rarely ask about the noise levels. So any appliance that you associate with noise, a mix master, a garburator, a, yeah. a, a dishwasher, a hair dryer, check the noise rating. So this, as we were saying, mm -hmm. is as low as 65 decibels, which is well below right. the, the the zone where you have to be okay. careful at 85. Okay. So anything 70 or below is great okay. and also comfortable. Right. And is that listed for all appliances? Yes, it's it, yeah. somewhere listed, exactly, right? That we yeah, can find. on the specifications. Right. And even for our, like um, like what it, like you said, our home making, our, our baking things. And exactly. Whatnot. Mix are master. They high? Yeah, yeah. Really? And, and the combination of things at the same time, someone's vacuuming and turning on a mix master, then the kids are trying to watch TV. Every three decibels increase in yeah. volume of what's going on around doubles the loudness. Okay, so you know what? Let's let's yes. prove this. Okay, <laughs> I want to works. see that this actually works. Just because works. it's quiet doesn't mean that right. it's not strong. Right. Because I don't believe you. Because <laughs> I don't I don't believe that it's, <laughs> it's got any <laughs> suction. Because I can't hear it's anything exactly. at all. Yeah. So got it. All right. Okay. okay. All right. And then gone. Okay. <laughs> it does work. All right. That's great. It's gone. I can just do that. Uh, honey, like lift that. up your feet. <laughs> yeah. So. That works. That works, and it's mm -hmm, great. Exactly. Okay. And so, and you're saying, I mean, these can be 
picked up anywhere. Exactly. Right? The bay all of the, the bays, yeah. Sears, all home appliance places have these. Right. So check the check the basics, right? The noise okay. Ratings. Very very cool. So tell me a little bit now. Do you have a website that uh, anyone can actually go to? Well, for the product, Rowenta.ca. Yeah. Yeah. They can find out information because there's a few different models okay. depending on the floor needs. And for us, it's TorontoHearingServices.com right. to come for a hearing test or to talk about noise levels, levels and protection like and that. everything. Okay. So also just everybody to be careful about turning down your personal listening devices. That's one of yeah. the biggies. Yeah. You can control that yeah. and make sure. Well, that's sure. huge because yeah. that's, that's with the kids. Yeah, you know? exactly. And I, you know, many times, I, I'm sure people out there have heard it, many times in the car, you know, my kids will have their earbuds in, but if you can hear the music still, that's too that's loud, right? Sign. Yeah, absolutely. That's too loud. And if they can't hear you when you're talking in a regular voice to them, it's a bad sign. Car is even worse because they're trying to cover up the car noise and the street noise, so it's even louder than they realize. Than they realize, mm -hmm. and that, they're doing intense damage to their to their ears. And they don't. Now the kids are too. They're sitting on the computers with the headphones on too. Those and even the headphones that go out, they're not the earbuds. Are these also? Absolutely, Damaging. just at whatever level. Even though level, they're outside. Yeah, because it's whatever level they're turning it to, and the decibel level at the eardrum okay. is going to decide to determine how much damage is being done. Okay. So and you did say, parents, there is a there are um, things controls. on the, on there to the controls. Exactly. So, so, so while your kids are still young, young enough not, not to know how to anybody. change it, exactly. Turn you them You can all set down. a limit. Nev never that it can't be turned above eighty five. And it can't be turned above eighty five. Exactly. So eighty five is the kicker Threshold. here. Yeah. We want that to be noted that it's eighty five decibels. So look at. Uh, the, what's on the appliances. Right. Um, and with appliances you want quite a bit below because of the cumulative effect of what's going happens. on sure. in your house. I hear you. Oh, Thanks so much <laughs> Beverly. You're great. Stay with Thanks. us. We'll be right back. Thanks so much. Steve.